Welcome to this tutorial on network visualization. This will be a hands-on demonstration of how to do network visualization of large omics datasets. If you want to understand why I do what I do, I highly recommend that you go watch my introduction to the core concepts of network visualization. Here we will first retrieve a large physical protein interaction network, import some omics data and visualize them on the network using discrete color mapping. Next, we'll cut up the network using network clustering and finally improve the layout of the figure. For this, we'll be working with Cytoscape and a number of different apps, specifically String App to retrieve the network, ClusterMaker 2 to perform the clustering, and finally Wi-Files layout algorithms to improve the layout. If you're not familiar with how to install apps in Cytoscape, I highly recommend that you go watch my basic String App tutorial first. This time we'll work with a large phosphoproteomics dataset. Each row in this spreadsheet represents a phosphorylation site with a uniprod accession number for the protein, a gene name, the modified residue number, multiple log fold change values representing comparisons across several conditions, and finally a cluster assignment that summarizes the behavior across all the conditions for each site. We select the uniprod accessions for these hundreds of rows and paste them all into the search box in Cytoscape. This time we again perform a string protein query, but adjust the search options to retrieve a physical interaction network rather than a full functional association network. However, despite wanting only physical interactions, you get a very large interaction network. For this reason, Cytoscape by default does not show the full graphics detail. You have to turn this on in the view menu. In the right hand panel, like last time, we turn off the string colors and turn off the miniature structures inside the glass balls. We go to the file menu and choose to import a table from file, thereby importing the spreadsheet with all its data into the note table. In the import dialog, we again remember to adjust that we want to use the query term column for matching the names from the spreadsheet. Once the data are imported, we go to the visual styles panel, select the fill color and say that we want the fill color to depend on the cluster assignment. Since it's ABC, we choose discrete color scheme and use the color generator to create a color palette from color brewer set one. Now you have the nodes colored red, green and blue depending on the behavior in the omics data. However, it's still not a good visualization of the data set because the network is frankly a hairball. The solution to this is to run clustering on the network. From the string app panel, you can run MCL clustering, which is actually performed by the cluster maker two app. And once you do that, you get a new network where the big hairball has been cut up into dense clusters. You still see a little bit of overlap of nodes. For this, we use the Y files layout algorithms to remove overlaps, slightly adjusting the layout without altering it overall. This is a pretty good starting point for visualizing a big omics dataset. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you want to learn how to do more advanced visualization of omics data in Cytoscape, take a look at this brief introduction to the omics visualizer app.